Well guys, this isn't the way that I wanted to start off the uh, Halloween season, but uh, I'm sick as a dog right now. Uh, probably one of the worst colds I've ever had, which is why I'm sucking on a cough drop right now. Thankfully I'm feeling a little bit better or else I wouldn't even be doing this video. But um, I really wanted to uh, start my Halloween videos off right for the year and do some reviews of some horror movies that I've been watching as of late. I decided to start watching some horror movies that I've never seen before so that I can do reviews of them for you guys. Hey, and uh, the first one is going to be not so good. <laughs> it is Unfriended as the title insinuated. Uh, this, for those who don't know, is a movie that uh, I thought up the idea with a couple of friends of mine for something similar to this. Like, we were in a Google Hangout one night several years ago, and we came up with this idea, like, what if we did a horror movie uh, where it was all based on Google Hangouts, right? Just a bunch of people hanging out in a, uh, like, an online digital chat room, a video chat, and someone keeps killing them in the background, something kind of mysterious and spooky and what the heck is going on, you know what I mean? So, we had that idea, and we may have actually been streaming at the time that we came up, came up with that idea, which is why when the trailer for this movie came out, we were all immediately just like, oh my god, someone stole our idea. Now, I don't think any of us actually thought somebody stole our idea. It's just a case of, like, interesting timing where you come up with something, and then somebody else possibly at that point had already come up with it, and, uh... The movie was probably already being made when we came up with that silly little idea. That being said, after having actually finally seen it now, I, I got over all my anger and rage over the fact that my idea was stolen, quote-unquote. <laughs> there was no anger or rage. I was just butthurt that I didn't get to do it first. After all that, I finally pick this one up for under four dollars because I'm a cheapskate and there's no way I'm paying a lot of money to see a movie that ripped off my idea. <laughs> but anyways, I finally saw it and what I will say about it, like the nice thing that I will say about it is that it isn't poorly done, all right? Like everything within the context of the film makes sense. There's no plot hole that I'm aware of at least. There's nothing in it that's just like it doesn't work, right? Everything makes sense within the context of the film. The way the plot develops, the way that uh, we all see it from the point of view of one person's computer and what they're doing on their computer and how they're seeing other people and how they're seeing all this crazy stuff happening to other people that they know uh, through video. It's a modern take, I think, on the uh, found footage kind of horror movie but that's no surprise to me because that's basically the whole concept that I had that we had my friends and I had for the movie that we were gonna gonna do but even though that's one nice thing I can say about it I do have to be honest not a very good movie I mean it, it may have been done well enough that it's like it's not a bad movie but uh I would not say it's good. The main issue that I have with it is that it's a teen scream movie. And there's nothing wrong with teen scream movies. But this one is just so predominantly about wealthy teens. Teens with like wealthy parents living in a like, Beverly Hills kind of neighborhood, if you will. You know, like a really wealthy area. They're all really freaking rich. They're all whiny brats they all have like no fucking attachment to reality and the way that things actually work for people in the real world it's so unfreaking believable like their lives are not believable to i would say probably 98 percent of the people who actually watched this movie like it makes you wonder who the fuck was this movie made for and the answer is rich teens i guess but um, that doesn't help because it's so hard to actually relate to the characters in the film. But uh, it also didn't help 
just because like just because these characters are not good people so you don't care if something bad happens to them and I will be honest that's a part of like horror movies that just it's just a part of horror movies right it's not an un uncommon thing to see nowadays where a movie a horror movie will actually intentionally put in characters that you can hate so you can hope to see them die or something like that right but usually they put at least one or two characters in there that you might actually give a crap about not this movie I guess this movie breaks new ground only it doesn't because we've seen this kind of terrible decision made before with other horror movies all I'm saying is yeah they they made a mistake with that and like on top of that I, I was not expecting this horror movie to be preachy but it is it's very preachy it's a total anti-bullying film that's basically what it is it's all anti-bullying I don't want to give away too much of the freaking plot or the story or anything like that but it's absolutely just anti-bullying rhetoric from the point of view of somebody that most people will not be able to relate to um, okay cool thanks for that um, aside from the fact that the movie is not poorly done it's not poorly edited shot poorly directed none of that it's it's very well done except for in the plot department except for in the story department whoever wrote this movie they had a sense for what they wanted to see from the uh, the framing of it you know they, they had a sense for what they wanted to see from the fact that it's a movie based about people basically living their lives online but they had no idea what to do with the characters they had no idea what to do with any of it uh, and so it just fell flat on its face and it was not very good so yeah um, can't recommend this one and it's not because I'm bitter or upset about it because they did the movie that I wanted to do and whatever it's literally just not a good movie I mean I gave it the kudos of the fact that it's not terribly done it's just that the story's bad and everything else about the movie that should be good and entertaining and interesting is not so yeah can't recommend this horror movie but uh, I am glad I finally did get around to seeing it because well at least now I know that my idea was in fact better <laughs> so yeah that'll do it for me today guys I got a bunch more horror movie reviews coming up I hope you'll check those out as well too but until then I'll catch you later peace